Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the eyelash stitch. This is the eyelash stitch as you see here and today I have done worked this tutorial with two different colors just so I can show off the beauty of the stitch. The stitches pattern is made up of single crochet stitches and then you have these spike stitches which are really single crochet stitches that are worked several rows or one to three rows below uh, the top of the stitch and I'm going to show you what I mean here as we work this stitch. It's quite a fun stitch to use, creates a solid fabric, but it has this really attractive look to it. So if you are new here or if you are returning, thank you so much. It's great to have you here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with stitch tutorials such as this one and free crochet patterns. If you're going to crochet along with me, grab your hook and some yarn and we'll get started. So today for our tutorial, you are going to begin by making your slip knot, And then we are going to start with a foundation chain. Now your chain is going to need to be a multiple of six stitches plus four. So today I'm just going to uh, crochet just a small swatch, but you can make your chain as long as you need to for the project that you are working on. You'll just need to make sure that you have a multiple of six stitches and then at the very end add four. Once you have your chain your desired length, you are going to begin row one by single crocheting in the second chain from hook. So count in one, two, work your first single crochet, and then in each stitch all the way across your chain. Once you come all the way across to the end of your chain, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. Now for the next three rows, you're going to simply repeat row one. So you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across for three more rows. So you want to have, by the time you're finished, a total of four rows of single crochet stitches. At the end of each one, chain one and turn. So go ahead and work that and then meet me back here. Okay, now I'm just coming up to the end of my fourth row of single crochet stitches. And now at the end of my fourth row, I am going to want to change colors so that I can start working my spike stitches. So in order to change color at the end of my row, this is my final stitch here. I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to draw up a loop. Now because for the next row I want to work with my second color, my color B, instead of completing that stitch with the color A, I'm going to add color B to my hook and I'm going to pull it through instead. So now when I chain one and turn, I will be all set to work with my color B. At the end, I will weave in these loose ends so they will be secure in my work. Okay, so at the end of row four, you've switched colors, you're going to chain one and turn. We are now going to start working our spike stitches. First stitch, you are going to single crochet in the first two stitches. Now I like to single crochet in the first two stitches because this end stitch, this first single crochet, for me it always acts as an anchor and keeps my uh, my spike stitches even. And you'll see what I mean when we come back and uh, work our next row. So you're going to single crochet in the top of the next two stitches, as, you, as of the first two stitches as you normally would. We're now going to work our first spike stitch. You'll remember a spike stitch is simply a single crochet that's actually worked uh, one, two, three rows, or however many rows 
down as you require. So to work a spike stitch, instead of working in the top of the stitch where you normally would work, you're going to bring your hook down below it and work at, in, in, uh, in the bottom of that stitch basically. You're going to work over the whole entire stitch. If you pull your work apart a little bit, you will see that there are these holes and they're fairly uh, straight in a line here. And so you're going to want to go down to the end, to the first row, to the bottom of it. So you're going to insert your hook and you're going to draw up your loop and you're going to draw it up to the same height as your other, as the other loop. You're going to yarn over and complete that single crochet and you can see that it's all already quite deeper than the one before it. Our next stitch we're going to move down one more row. So you can see straight down from this stitch there's another little hole here two rows down. So you're going to insert your hook in the second row down, yarn over, draw up your loop again to the same height as the others, yarn over and pull through. That's our second spike stitch. We're going to work one more even further down. So we have one, two, this one is going to be down in that third row. We're going to insert your hook down here, draw up a loop, pull it up to the height of the other, yarn over and pull through. And those are your first three spike stitches. It might take you a little bit uh, to get a hang of the tension and pulling that loop up, but uh, don't give up. Just keep trying and you'll get the hang of it eventually. We're now going to continue working more spike stitches, except now we're going to decrease their length and work our way back up. So your next stitch is going to go down two rows. Find your hole directly below the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop to the same height, yarn over and pull through. The next spike stitch will be under the first row, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, draw it to the same height, yarn over and pull through. The next will be worked in the normal place where you would work your stitch, just in the top of that single crochet stitch. And that is your first eyelash stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So you've worked your single crochet in the top. Your next one is going to be one row down, insert your hook, pull up your loop to the same height, yarn over and pull through. Next you're going to work two rows down. So in your next stitch, Move your hook down two rows, insert your hook, drop your loop to the same height, pull through. Your next stitch is going to be three rows down. Insert your hook, three rows down, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. You're now going to start decreasing your spike stitches. The next stitch will be two rows down, insert your hook, pull through, one row down, and then in the top of the next single crochet stitch. Continue to repeat all the way across. One row down, two rows down, three rows down, two rows down, one row down, and then you will be left with two stitches. You're going to single crochet in the last two stitches. Those are your first row of spike stitches. So then now for the next row, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You are now going to simply work three rows of single crochet stitches. So one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end, you're going to chain one and turn and work another two rows. So a total of three rows of single crochet stitches. At the end of that third row, we are going to be switching back to our color A. So 
so I'm just finishing up my third row there of single crochet stitches. I'm going to be switching back to my color A. Drop my color B. Pick up my color A once more and complete the stitch. I'm now ready to work my next row of eyelash stitches using my color A. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. And you'll see as you're turning your work, this is actually a double-sided uh, pattern. So it looks the same on one side as it does the other. Now for this row of eyelash stitches, I'm going to start by chaining, uh, by single crocheting in the first stitch. This again creates my anchor stitch that I mentioned to you before, keeps everything kind of in line and even. Now for this, I'm going to be working my stitches almost opposite of the ones I did here. So with my color A, I'm going to start making the longest eyelash stitch in this pattern. So down three, count down three rows, and you're going to insert your hook, and it's easy to tell, you're going to insert your hook just to the right of that uh, single crochet eyelash stitch down uh, below. So just to the right of it, you're going to insert your hook for that first stitch, yarn over, uh, over and drop a loop, pull it up to the same height, and pull through. So that's your first one, so it's going to be the longest. Now we're going to decrease them, so moving down two rows below, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, pull it to the same height, yarn over and pull through. Now uh, one row below, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to the same height, and finish your stitch. Your next stitch will be worked in the top of the single of the single crochet. And now you can see you have your four eyelash stitches made. So now you're going to uh, begin increasing them again. You're going to, for your next stitch, go down one row, insert your hook, go down two rows, and then down three. And you will know if you're doing it uh, in the proper stitches. By the time you get to this long one, you should always be inserting your hook in the space right to the right of that single crochet stitch. You'll always want to make sure that you are there and that ensures that your stitches are evenly lined up with the stitches below. Now you're going to begin your decrease again. Move down two rows. one row, a single crochet in the top of the next stitch, and start the increase. One row, down two rows, three rows to the right of that little single crochet stitch down there. Start your decrease, down two rows, down one row, and now in a single crochet stitch. So keep repeating that all the way across. When you come to the end, you should have one single crochet space left there. You're going to place your final single crochet in the top of that stitch. For now, you are going to uh, simply repeat the three rows of single crochet stitches, all with your color A. So you're going to continue working in your color A. At the end of the third row of single crochet stitches, you're going to switch back to your color B. And then with that, you are going to simply repeat once you switch back to your color B, you're going to simply repeat that row five onward, and you're gonna keep repeating that pattern until you have uh, your, your uh, fabric come to the desired length. So thank you so much for joining me for this stitch tutorial on how to work the eyelash stitch. Once again, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.